Hey guys, welcome to today's Vehicle Visionary. Today, my friends at Ore Cadillac here in Shreveport, Louisiana, have loaned me this all new first generation of the 2020 Cadillac XT6. And if you've always wanted a Cadillac Escalade, but it was just too big and maybe you didn't want to have to deal with that super thirsty V8 that's under the hood of the Escalade, this could very well be a very viable option for you. It's smaller, yet it has a decent amount of cargo space and it most certainly gets better gas mileage. We're gonna talk about the exterior and interior features. We're gonna talk about what's under the hood, the horsepower, torque, all that good stuff. And of course, what kind of interior space, comfort and amenities technology, all of that that you can expect if this is something you wish to pick up. Normally at this point of the video, I would talk about what's new, but technically everything is new since this is a brand new model that Cadillac has debuted this year. Although all of the features available on the X-T6 are available on other models as well. But we're gonna talk about what you can expect, such as a very comfortable ride quality. And the interior noise, of course, is minimal, a common thing with Cadillac models. A very powerful engine under the hood that is gonna do a fantastic job of getting you around town or down the road on road trips without any trouble whatsoever. And there are safety features that come standard on each model of the X-T6. And of course, as you can see the front end, typical Cadillac style, it looks nice, it looks clean, it looks luxurious. The Cadillac grille, of course, you do have all of the sensors all around the X-T6 to help you with cross traffic alerts, all the different safety bells and whistles that you would expect, cameras, everything that you've come to know, of course, is available here on the X-T6. So let's talk about what's under the hood and how you can expect your X-T6 to perform. And now that we have the hood open, of course, very easy to open with one of my favorite features on any vehicle. If you watch me normally, you know what it is. It's the struts right here under the hood that just automatically raise it up and keep it up. Very, very nice feature. The 3.6 liter six cylinder under the hood is naturally aspirated and puts out 310 horsepower and 271 foot-pounds of torque. It's mated to a nine-speed automatic transmission. There are multiple driving modes. We'll take a look at those three modes here in just a few minutes when we do our interior tour. And the gas mileage, of course, is not bad. 18 miles per gallon in the city and 25 miles per gallon out on the highway. And of course, the exterior overall, very nice. Looks nice and modern. You do have passive entry on the front and rear door handles, making it very easy to lock and unlock the doors, deep tinted rear windows, and chrome accents. Not only here around the windows, you also have trim down here on the bottom of the doors, more chrome right there. Just nicely placed, not too much, but not too little. And of course, you have the roof rails here on the top. And here we are at the rear with the lift gate. And we're gonna take a look at the interior. I'll give you the numbers on what kind of cargo space you have. There's a few different options there. Of course, this is a three row crossover SUV. And so you've got three rows of seats, but you can fold all of the rear seats down and the middle seats to greatly increase your cargo space. So let's first talk about accessing the rear cargo area. You have multiple options on that. There is a button right here just above the license plate bracket. You can use the remote and you can also use a button located on the inside on the driver's side door, kind of down towards the bottom because it allows you to not only open and close this rear lift gate, it also allows you to determine how far it's gonna open, if it opens completely or three-fourths of the way, depending on what you need. There's also a motion sensor underneath the bumper right here, and I'm showing you how to use that on your screen so that you know, very, very simple. You're just gonna swipe across from right to left, and it's going to open. Be patient with that. Sometimes that takes a little more time than people want. So if you noticed the way I did that, when I swiped my foot from right to left on the middle section of the bumper, it didn't open immediately. Just be patient because it's gonna open. Sometimes people will do that 
and it doesn't open just like that. And they swipe their foot through again and basically reverse the sequence and it keeps the lift gate from opening. Can be a little bit frustrating, but very easy to deal with. Now, upon first inspection, there's not a whole lot of cargo space back here. You do have an area right here, a little bin right here that you can store things in. And there's a little section, little tray here on the bottom that you can pull out that shows you where your rear or spare tire is, I should say. If you need that, all the tools are there to jack the vehicle up, to take the lug nuts off, everything you need. You do have some tie downs back here, a couple of areas where you can tie things off and actually also on the rear seats themselves. And so when they're folded down, as we're just gonna look at in, in a minute here, you have a lot of different options if you have cargo back here that you need to tie down and keep from moving around. You can do that on these rear seats and the middle seats as well. There are sets of switches right here, two sets of switches here on the right hand side of the cargo area back here that allow you to not only lower these rear seats, but also lower the middle seats also and the good thing about that is that with the rear seats, they come up automatically, they go down automatically. The middle seats do go down automatically, their power as far as going down, but you will have to lift them back up manually. Okay, let's start discussing interior. There is a reasonable amount of interior space and your average size adult is going to be comfortable whether here in the middle seats or in those rear seats back there too and a lot of nice amenities. There's an air conditioning vent for each individual passenger in the middle and rear seats. Everybody has USB ports. You can control the air conditioning and the temperature, the fan speed, everything here on the rear of the center console. You also have USB ports available, a USB port I should say, and cup holders right here with a little bit of storage right in front of that inside the rear console. Now, when it comes to getting into the rear seats, there is a latch on top of the passenger side and driver side seats here in the middle that you can pull up on that and move the seats up and forward, making it a lot easier to get in to the rear seats and out as well, of course. The rear seat passengers do have their own cup holders and USB ports also. And like I said, everybody has their own individual air conditioning vents. And to make the ride more scenic, there is a panoramic sunroof. Okay, let's take a quick tour here of the front seat of the interior. Of course, everything is leather and very comfortable. The front seats and all the other seats in this XT6. And there are so many nice conveniences. Everything you would expect, of course, not a heated steering wheel, uh, leather wrapped, comfortable as can be. The steering wheel mounted controls, modern and easy to use and navigate instrument cluster and of course you navigate everything via these buttons here and the little wheel in the center on the right hand side of the steering wheel you do have adaptive cruise control and you can change so many different things you can monitor the tire pressure so many different things you can look at i like the fact that everything is easy to use the infotainment screen here on the dashboard is super simple to navigate. Nothing complicated there, and of course, great features such as Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, depending on what device you have. And you do have wireless charging here. I like the fact that here in the center console, of course, you've got some room in here, a little tray you can keep in there or take out if you want to. But right in front of that, I like the fact that you can just slide your phone down in there and it's going to charge. That's the wireless charging I was referring to. And it's nice that your phone fits. It's good to see that some of the larger phones are not going to have a difficult time uh, sitting in your vehicle. I know that with my current daily driver, well, my cup holders don't hold my iPhone that I currently have. Now, I have a remedy for that, of course, but you don't need that here. I like that. So you do have push button start. I'm going to start this up real quick and mute the radio as quickly as I can, just so we don't get hit with any copyright issues if and when it comes on here in just a second. But the reason I wanted to start this is because I want to run through the modes with you real quick and tell you what we have. And let's turn that, turn that off real quick. Of course, there are multiple safety features, like I said before, and I'll list those on the screen so you'll know what they are, that are pretty much standard on every trim level with the X-T6. And you can turn that off and on. And right here, 
On the center console here, right behind the cup holders, you have the button for turning traction control on and off, and then you have a button that says mode, and that's going to let you surf through what mode you want to drive in, whether it's tour, sport, or snow and ice. And even though it may be cool enough to have snow and ice in Louisiana right now, a pretty chilly day here, the chances of that are pretty slim, so I wouldn't be driving in that mode, maybe not ever. But it's there if you need it, but especially if you live up in the north where it snows and you get ice a lot, well, it's nice to know that that feature is there. And by the way, you can get this XT6 in two different configurations as far as front wheel drive or all wheel drive, depending on what your needs and desires are. Of course, everything is controllable here through the infotainment screen, or you can control the radio through either the infotainment screen there is some navigation underneath here for that to mute or unmute and everything for the air conditioner. You have heated seats here and like I said a heated steering wheel. Shifter paddles if you want to drive in sport mode and you're you know whatever the reason may be this isn't meant to be a high performance vehicle although it does have a reasonable amount of horsepower like I said. And here on the center just above the rear view mirror and we're going to talk a little bit more about that in just a second because it has one of the features that I think is is very nice if you're looking to not have to literally look through the back seat to use your rear view mirror but the controls for the shade for the panoramic sunroof are found here between the two map lights and of course the button for opening and closing the sunroof is there as well. One thing you don't have here that you would normally have on the Escalade is the button here on the infotainment screen on the dashboard that automatically opens the glove box. You just have the old fashioned latch there. Not a big deal. I, that's, I, I think that's better, honestly. Just a little bit easier, a little bit more convenient. I don't know, just personal opinion on that. Okay guys, let's talk about one of the greatest features, in my personal opinion, on the X-T6. And it has to do with the rear view mirror. You have two different options. There's a little lever underneath here. You can toggle that back and forth uh, on the auto dimming rear view mirror. If you want to use it as a more conventional rear view mirror and basically see everything behind you inside the vehicle to see out of the back window, well, you can do that. Or you can pull this little latch forward on the mirror itself and it activates the rear view camera and you will see through the rear view camera right here on the rear view mirror. Nice feature and I will admit that if you haven't used that before it does take a little bit of getting used to but once you're used to it you'll never want to go back. Trust me on that. Now one other feature that goes along with this that I really like and if you watch me regularly I talk about the front camera washer on the Ford vehicles. Well you have a rear camera washer here on the X-T6 and the way you use that is through the lever here for controlling the windshield wipers on the right hand side of the steering wheel. So when you push it forward towards the dashboard, that's what's going to activate the rear camera washer. You'll see a stream of windshield washer fluid sprayed across the camera and there is a rear wiper as well to keep the window clean back there and it just really gives you a nice clean view if you've got any dirt on that lens you never have to worry about wiping it off yourself. Just another one of the great amenities on the Cadillac XT6. And that will bring to a close my time with this 2020 Cadillac XT6. I'd like to thank my friends at Or Cadillac for loaning me this XT6 for the day and of course all of you for taking the time to watch. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button. That helps me out a lot in getting this in front of more people. Leave me a comment. Tell me if this is something you plan to purchase. Are you stepping out of an Escalade? What, what are you going to be getting out of to get into this? Tell me about that and tell me why you want a vehicle like this. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please be sure to do so. We've got a lot more great content coming. And tell me what you would like to see. And I will see you next time on Vehicle Visionary.